Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I converted my last dollhouse into a two-story building with a balcony and four rooms. I will put the link for the first part of the video in the description box. So if you would like to know how I built the pool and the first floor, make sure you check that out and subscribe to my channel. First, I'm going to separate the roof from the house, which is going to be the first step for building the second story. Once all the walls are removed, I'm including stabilizing styrofoam to the edges to create a hollow space for the LED lights. Now I'm gluing a wall into the downstairs room to separate it into two rooms and to stabilize the second floor. These cardboard pieces are cut to fit the walls and act as a base for the downstairs platform which is about 8 cm high. Cut out three equal pieces of styrofoam and glue them next to each other. They're going to be the framework for the platform stairs. Line the stairs with paperboard and popsicles. Cover a piece of cardboard the size of the platform with marble paper and glue it onto the framework. I'm using popsicle sticks to make wooden miniature flooring. Since there is going to be a second floor, I will attach floating stairs to this wall. To make the stairs, I am covering 8 pieces of cardboard in marble paper, which are 10 cm x 3 cm, and I glue them to the wall, leaving 3 cm space between them. I'm cutting out a rectangle shape from the ceiling above the stairs so that the dolls can access the second floor. Unfortunately, I removed a bit too much, which is why you can see me reattaching a piece of styrofoam to the ceiling. As mentioned before, I want to create a hollow space between the ceiling and the second floor for the LED lights. To do so, I am gluing several strips of cardboard around the fairy lights, making sure that you can still remove them when the second floor is placed on top. If you don't want to have lights in your dollhouse, you can skip this step. Place a large piece of cardboard on top and cut it to the right size. I wanted it to be larger than the downstairs area because I needed more space for the balcony. Draw lines where you want the walls to go and put down the flooring of your choice. To make a wall without windows, cut out two pieces of cardboard, glue them together and cover them in white paper. In my case, they are 35 centimeters high. And here I'm going to place a wall with two windows. Now cover the window piece that is going to be visible from the inside of the house with white paper. I am using the paper of an old calendar. Use see-through plastic from toy packaging to make fake window glass and glue to each of the windows. Now cover the edges of the window piece that goes on the outside of the house with the same paper and glue them together. Cut two doors into the wall that separates the rooms upstairs, one to access the balcony and one that leads into the other room. I'm 
I'm painting several strips of cardboard white to use them as skirting boards and door frames along with popsicle sticks. Now I'm using popsicle sticks to cover up the untidy edges before painting everything white and as you can see I'm also gluing the last step in place. For the railing I'm using clear plastic and white plastic sticks. If you don't have those you can also use the white cardboard strips that you prepared earlier for the door frames. I'm using the same materials for the downstairs railing and for the window frames. To make the ceiling I'm using a sheet of foam board that fits between the walls of the room and secure it with hot glue. Since foam board is very light you only have to glue the top edges to the walls so that you don't see any glue inside the room. Do the same on the other side and carefully poke holes into the ceiling for the fairy lights. Now secure the light switch with cardboard so that it doesn't move around when you're turning the lights on and off before gluing the roof on top. And finally I want to hide the hollow spaces where I place the fairy lights. I'm going to use a hook and loop fastener to attach the cardboard which means I can always open it and replace the fairy lights if needed. And that's the inside of the two-story dollhouse finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to find out how I made the balcony and the glass door, make sure you subscribe to my channel and watch my next video, which will be uploaded in the next couple of days. I will link it in the description box along with a tutorial for the pool and the first floor. Don't forget to follow Fun and Craft on Instagram and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.